Hey fanatics, I gotta tell you, Kate Middleton isn't exactly our top pick, but seriously, where is she? This is so creepy and weird. Like where is this woman? You can say what you want, but it's hard to ignore it that something's up. It's been over 60 days since we've seen her, and sure, William's doing solo appearances, but it's weird. We still don't know exactly what is wrong with them. So um, it leads to a lot of speculation. They used to play the single dad card and now he's dropping press releases solo. Plus this whole nine month recovery thing doesn't quite add up. Where is Kate? There's news saying she might be in a medically induced coma, but not for the reasons we've been thinking. Someone sent an email expressing serious concerns about Kate's disappearance, saying the palace is buzzing with speculation, but the real deal remains a mystery. Some are saying her absence is due to a marital strife fueled by rumors of her husband's alleged cheating. The story goes that she confronted him and in a fit of jealous rage, he lashed out, leaving her unable to face the public eye. Hmm. But seriously, how long does it really take for facial bones to heal? Others claim she underwent plastic surgery. That Kate Middleton uh, has undergone to give her a vastly improved appearance in a before and after. But the truth is hidden behind the palace walls. There are whispers of a more sinister possibility, a coma. Now hold on, because it doesn't end there. It gets interesting, I promise. Reports from foreign lands suggest something went horribly wrong during an operation, leaving her in a state of unconsciousness. Wow. But the real question here is why the need for secrecy? Well, check this. The princess's duty goes beyond mere appearances. She carries the weight of the crown on her shoulders, and the Princess of Wales understands this better than anyone. Interestingly, there's talk about a potential pregnancy and that could be the answer to lifting the heavy load off her shoulders. Remember when the Spanish media hinted that Kate could be in a coma and it wasn't just a random accident? Yeah, keep that in mind. Now let's revisit those rumors about what's making Kate sick. Whatever anyone thinks, she's clearly out of commission, so wow the secrecy. According to sources, there could be a bunch of reasons. If Kate is indeed pregnant, having a baby right now would be a game changer. It would also be a way to one-up her rivals in the line of succession. The Middleton clan would see their side of the family tree growing, securing her bloodline and putting a lid on all the negative talk about her mom. And you know, the whispers about her mother-in-law planting stories, well, a pregnancy would stop that in its tracks too. It would even halt her father-in-law's attempts to sideline her. Seriously, think about it. What competes against an old monarchy? A beautiful queen carrying the future of the monarchy in her belly. Everyone loves a baby and it would definitely put a halt to any thoughts of her husband wanting to leave her. So in a nutshell, if the rumors about Kate and William's marriage troubles are true, a baby might just be the perfect solution to shake things up and keep the family drama at bay. But what if William is actually contemplating divorcing Kate before she becomes queen? Because, you know, apparently you can't divorce a sitting queen. Plus, people say Kate deeply loves William. So back to the wild theory from before. A baby might just put the brakes on him leaving. Now why does she need to be away? Well, let's not forget this family dynamic. Despite the racism accusations, there's a historical connection to eugenics in that royal bloodline. The queen herself and her cousins had alleged mental health issues. Even Prince Philip had ties to eugenics through his German lineage. Resulting in the children of my brother, Catherine and Nerissa, and their first cousins, paying a terrible price. Because their illness, their imbecility, don't use those words, their professionally diagnosed idiocy and imbecility, Remember how the queen refused a wheelchair even with bone cancer? It was seen as a sign of weakness. And people say William is more like the queen's grandson than her own son, Charles. So if all the rumors about the queen's health and Kate's supposed condition are true, being seen as weak, especially from a wheelchair, wouldn't fly. It's just not fit for royalty, right? Indignities like miscarriage, sadness, mental health, those are for commoners, not for the image of a future queen. One reason they criticized Meghan was because they saw it as inappropriate for a future queen to share the common experience of miscarriage. So while she may not be close 
to death, rumors suggest Kate is on bed rest as she carries the next heir to the throne. There's speculation about her facing a debilitating condition and failure to produce an heir is not an option for her. Some might argue that it would make her more relatable, but losing an heir to the throne is unthinkable. It's her value, her worth. So. Kate might not want to risk losing a child while her husband tends to other matters. So she could be resting, expecting, but they won't show her face. Now, here's where things take a darker turn. The Spanish media speculation might not have been far off. It seems Kate could actually be in a medically induced coma. But why would they do that to a woman who's carrying the future heir to the throne? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? The thing is, many women in comas have successfully carried a child full term. Sometimes, when mothers are under extreme stress or dealing with conditions like EDS, a coma can offer a way to bring a healthy child into the world through various measures. We won't delve into the top three here, but that's a different story. If these rumors hold any water, it seems like this might be exactly what's happening. Ironically, the one thing Kate thought would save her marriage has turned her into something she always feared she was. Nothing more than a paper figure with good genes, a tall, polite smile, and a clear understanding of her place. Her greatest wish was to be the vessel bringing the next heir to the throne and now she's turned into a true version of a vessel. A vessel that has lost all free will, free thought and free want, merely convenient for William. This vessel serves William well, allowing him to lead a private life without answering to anyone, establishing himself separately and tending to his rose bushes without his wife pulling attention away from him or engaging in distractions. In fact, William can create an entire garden without the worry of headlines and his wife's activities diverting attention from his vital work. She's become a vessel not just for Charles and Camilla, occasionally being used to benefit them in headlines, but for the crown itself. Kate has sacrificed everything, truly everything, to secure a bloodline not only for her children but for future generations. She has essentially sold her soul and body to the devil, the royal family. Updates on this may come soon, but something is clearly amiss, and these reports will likely keep delving into the issue. If this is true, it's scary and disgusting. But why does it seem to ring true? Kate goes missing shortly after Christmas and we can't see her, can't even see her face. She resurfaces roughly nine months later. A lot of people jokingly link that to the time it takes to create a human. What if Kate is once again creating a human? In this scenario, failure is not an option. It looks like Kate's biggest dream and worst nightmare are crashing together. It's pretty clear that Kate's absence is no accident. She might be in a medically induced coma basically trapped in her own body. The reason for this harsh fate is unclear, leaving us all to guess what it could mean. It's honestly really dark if you think about it. Kate is basically a sacrificial lamb for tradition and duty. She's losing her independence, becoming just a vessel for a bigger cause. But in the middle of all this gloom, there's a bit of humanity left beyond the royal front She's a woman burdened by expectations and the tough choices she's made. But with all the talk that Kate's planning another baby, I definitely think it's a strategic move. In her mind, it's a way to make sure William sticks around, especially after their recent drama about the kids at school. A new baby buys her time and makes it less likely for William to leave a woman with a tiny newborn. Maybe it's her master plan to secure the throne. And hear me out, the nine months she's supposed to be out of the picture coincidentally matches the timing it takes to grow a human. So what do you think is going on here? It doesn't take nine months to recover from abdominal surgery, does it? Drop your thoughts in the comments and we'll catch you in the next video.